and a very warm welcome to Bharata First. I'm Frank Rausen Pereira. This is FRP Explains. Let me at the outset give a disclaimer. I am no expert on this subject of cryptocurrency or blockchain technology, but I am a common man who's fascinated by what's happening in this particular sphere. I was shocked to read about doggy coin or like the ones who created it, the developers who made it call it Dogecoin. Some of them even call it Dogcoin. As fascinating as the name sounds, it's very interesting to go back and see how it all started. In 2013, a couple of developers named Billy Marcus and Palmer decided to come out with Doggy Coin as a joke because companies or cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin made some massive claims about changing the world, about changing the system and about doing so much to the world order. So this was done as a satire to mock cryptocurrencies as a whole and in particular some big companies. When we talk about cryptocurrencies, the first name that comes to our tongue is Bitcoin. And Bitcoin has indeed captured the entire market, but has its own limitations because it is said that only 21 million Bitcoins will be created. And that is what is keeping the interest going as well. With Doggy Coin, it's something else altogether. It's going to be unlimited and you can mine for how many ever you want. So what is cryptocurrency? Cryptocurrency is nothing but a digital form of currency which is not centralized like the dollar or the euro or the rupee. So there is no single body that controls it. It's open. It's free for all. It's basically like something on, you know, on loose lines, you can call it like an open source, open source platforms or something similar to that. It has come to the forefront suddenly because of the interest that Elon Musk, Tesla's Elon Musk has shown and he has been making memes about it. He has been commenting about it and suddenly it has piqued the interest of several people around the world. In the last six months, the value of doggy coin has gone up 26,000 times and nothing else has come close to that. It's the fastest growing thing that we've seen over the last six months. Now, should you invest and who can invest? Anybody can invest just like how we invest in the stock market. We go to the stock bro brokerage or get into our uh, bank accounts and uh, do stock broking. In the similar way, you can go to cryptocurrency exchanges, use your credit card and trade in cryptocurrency. Should you buy it? Well, I'll just give you a little bit of a background into this. Last year alone, Bitcoin uh, was at $61,000. And from there, it went down to $30,000 and now it has come back up again. So there's a lot of fluctuation as far as, uh, you know, cryptocurrency is concerned. So if you are the types who likes to take risks, if you are the types who likes to experiment and just like the thrill of it, you can go for it. But generally as a whole, uh, you know, I wouldn't suggest it. It's a, it's, it's a risk that you need to take. If you're up to the risk and up to the task, you can go ahead and do it. I personally would not do it. Well, much as it has grown and captured the imagination of the world, there are several analysts who believe that this is a bubble that will burst sometime soon. They've been saying it for a while now, but the cryptocurrency bubble hasn't burst. It continues to thrive and it continues to do well. But all good things have to come to an end it, and it may happen with cryptocurrency as well. So I would advise caution and I would say proceed with great caution going forward. Don't simply blindly fall for it. Be careful, be wary, be watchful about where your money goes and then decide. As far as the technology itself is concerned, it is said to be foolproof and very difficult really to duplicate and very difficult to uh, see fakes as far as cryptocurrency is concerned because the sheer nature of uh, its existence and how it is, it's difficult for people to make duplicates and for people to con anyone. So that is a good thing. You know, there is so much that is happening. There is so much to keep up with. It's kind of, you know, strange. You have to get used to first social media. 
you get you get used to all these social media platforms twitter ku instagram and tiktok and so much more and then you get used to this whole new other side of you know cryptocurrency and all all of this i don't know where people really have the time to get used to all of this but still there are a lot of people who are interested in these things and hence i decided to make this particular video that's it on this edition of frp explains if you like the content please like subscribe and hit the bell icon for those of you who would like to come forward and contribute you may do so by using our upi ids a small contribution that you make will go a long way in us bringing you this content so please continue to show your love and support that's it from me see you again next time Thank you.